Hi everybody, welcome back to the next in my series of updated for 2024 Beginner's Guide to Modding PC DAISY Community Servers and in this one we're going to be looking at how to install the amazing code lock mod which transforms the way that you can get in and out of your bases because instead of having to do a combination lock you can find a code lock, you attach it onto a fence gate um, like you can see here um, and then once you've set the combination you can just come and go really easily um, with the config file you can also use them to lock uh, tents and also if you use something like um, uh, much stuff pack you can use them um, in combination with some of the stuff in there as well but mainly it's for securing quickly securing uh, your fence gates in your bases so very very cool very very cool mod indeed so we're going to look at how to install it and we're going to look at um, adding it to your dr jones trader files as well so people can not only maybe find them in the world um, but also they can buy them now before we get started i'd just like to remind everybody that this is a series of videos so in the description below this one there's a link to this playlist which is all of the videos that i've updated for 2024 also you'll find a previous and next video because i've tried to record them in a bit of a logical order where each video builds on the next in terms of the knowledge base that you will be using right let's get started so first things first obviously you're going to go to daisy on the web or in your um, steam client and i'll put a link uh, to uh, the uh, code lock mod on steam in the description of this video and you'll want to subscribe to code lock as you can see it doesn't have any dependencies which is always very very cool indeed now let me exit out of here so we can get into the launcher so let's close that and let's close that and see if daisy crashes um, no it hasn't so when you fire up the launcher code lock will then download and so what we're going to do is let, let's just find that on our computer so if you click on the down arrow there click on the three arrows click on open folder in windows explorer this will then take us to our workshop folder and there's code lock so let's go inside and see what we get so we get the normal thing which is the add-ons with the pbo's in we get the key which you'd imagine you know we need to add to our server as well and then we get the xml so this if we open this that's the xml code we can add to our types.xml on our server so that code lock will spawn in and around our server as a tool in industrial and farm areas so without further ado fire up your ftp program um, we're using files earlier in this case go to the site manager and then join as you can see on the right hand side this is my remote server on the left hand side this is my local computer so what i can do is we can go back to where the code lock was like so and if we left click up here and we can right click and we can copy that address go back to ftp program left click up here right click paste press enter and there we are we're in the workshop there so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go down and find code lock and then making sure we've clicked daisy standalone there we're just going to right click upload and that will then upload it to the server as you can see kind of i've already done that. i do that to save time in these videos so once code lock has been uploaded we just want to open up the code lock um, folder here and there and just click on keys there and then go to the keys directory on our server and you can see there's the code so right click upload and that will upload to here well and it's already there so i'm going to say overwrite it so that is the key is now in place as well so this is excellent stuff now we want to click on the missions folder down here and open this up we want to click on churner's plus we want to open that off we want to click on db and there's types so we want to right click and we want to view edit this there we go and as you can see what you want to do is then you want to copy the code lock bit take it over to your types and as you can see i've already pasted it into mine now at this point you may well want to like myself might want to change this i might want to reduce these so they're actually quite rare so i've changed the nominal to 20 and i've changed the minimum to 10. so you will still find them on the server there but they're a little bit rarer and that's because i want to encourage players to use the trader to get hold of these so let's save that go back to our ftp program and it says this has changed you want me to upload it and you say yes please 
So that then uploads to there. Next thing we want to do is we want to go into the config of our trader. So within Daisy standalone, where all your mods are, you'll have your config folder. Now this may well be called config, it might be called profiles, it might be called settings. But in here, you'll have your trader folder and you have your trader config. So we're just going to right click and we're going to view edit that. As you can see, that's opened up here. And this is where we can add things to our trader. And if we scroll down, you're just looking for the uh, suitable thing. So for me, I think I put it under hardware supplies. Let's have a look. Where's the locks? Do we put it under there? Do we go back up? Let's see if we can find it. Right, let's do a control F and let's look for a lock. Lock pick, alarm clock. Here we go, there we go, there we go. So under hardware supplies, what I did was I made a space after combination lock. So I pressed enter like that. And then I just copied and pasted the class name of code lock like this. So I copied that. I just pasted that into there. And then I copied from the comma through to the 400 and I pasted that into there and then I changed the price to uh, 1000 to buy and 500 to sell click there quick quick tab just to spread it out and there we can see so we can delete that one because I've already done that so there we are. So now we've added code lock to our trader config as well. So that's really cool. So we can save that and we go back to our FTP program and say, this file has changed. You want me to upload it and say, yes, please. So that is now done. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go to our server, go to the web interface, go to the general settings, then scroll down to get to the additional mods. Now this is on how Nitrada deals with it on PC servers. So with Nitrado, we don't have access to the, the, the Windows batch file, the .bat file that starts the server. We have to put the, uh, the the mods in here. If you're running your own dedicated box or you have an access to uh, the .bat file, you probably know what you're doing anyway by now. But there'll be a line in there that says start. And within the start line, there'll be a mod section as well. And this is where you put at code lock. On Nitrado, you have to go to additional mods. And then after the last mod, you put semicolon and then at code lock. Remember, if you're not quite sure, confident about your spelling, just left click in your um, file explorer, right click that, copy that. And instead of having to type it, type the semicolon and then paste the at code lock over the top. Now, what you want to do is then you want to save that and then you want to restart your server. Because what will that then do, if I won't do it, it's already done, but that will then create a config file for trader, for um, for code lock, sorry. So if we go back to FTP program, remember how we said that within the config folder, or sometimes it's called the settings folder, or it might be called, um, uh, pro, well, it could be called profile, it could be config, it could be called settings, anything like that. This is where mods often store the data they need from from start to start so for example this is where trader the trader mod uh keeps the files where it knows how much things cost this is where the zombie admin um, mod keeps the steam ids of the people who can be admins that sort of stuff with code lock if we go into code lock we have code lock config.json so if we view edit this what we can see when it pops up there we go there's different things that we can set in here and probably the most important one to start off with is can attach to tents as we can see at the moment it says can attach to gates true so you can attach it to the gates the fence gates that you make you know when you when you put down a fence kit and you fill it up and then you attach a wire to it and you get your pliers out and it turns it into a gate so you can attach it to a gate but you can also attach it to tents and then so you would change that to true as well and then you've got your raidable things as well so can raid gates can raid tents so maybe if you had a pve server where you didn't want you know where one of the rules was look listen no base raiding then you could turn that to false as well um, you can also have it so that if the um, code lock is is taken off it gets damaged and, and gets deleted only uh, only 
Owner only can dismantle. True. Um, can open anywhere. True. Can close anywhere. True. So again, this uh, you could change that to false, but that would mean you could open things from the wrong side. Um, so yeah, so the main config to, to you'll be playing around with would be can attach to tent. So we're going to change that in this case to true. I guess it, it depends on how immersive you want it to be <laughs> because the thing about tents is although yes you can turn damage off to tents so they become pretty much indestructible in real life you would just use a knife to cut open the tent to get inside don't you so whether you'd want to do that i don't know but we can just click save go back to file filler it says look this has changed oh one thing i should say though is that remember that, that this config file for code lock will only appear once the mod has been installed and it's gone through a restart cycle if the um config folder for code lock hasn't appeared yet and um, what you want to do just go back and go through the steps and just make sure you've installed everything correctly um, and then after a restart you should see can't code lock and remember if you want to re uh, refresh a uh, folder in um, FileZilla, for example, you click on the folder you want to refresh and tap F5 on your keyboard, and it will then re download that particular folder um, because sometimes it can take a while for it to refresh. Or you could disconnect and reconnect to the uh, remote site that way. And that, my friends, is how easy it is to get code lock. So now we can go to the trader and we can buy a code lock to put on our base, or we could find one in the wider world. How cool is that? So there we go. Brilliant. Hope hopefully you've found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.